Hello real estate investors, this is Edwin again. In today's video, we are going to be deep diving into the snapshot view. If you remember in the previous video, I covered real briefly what the snapshot view was, and now we're actually gonna dive into the major components of the snapshot view. So we've logged into your portal and you have all of your loan requests, uh, all of your loan files right here. So we're gonna dive into the full app, okay? So we're gonna say this is the status that you, you're working on uh, as of today. You're gonna go over here to the full app and you're gonna open up, well, by default, it automatically opens up the snapshot view. So what are we looking at? What are these different components? Uh, when would you see them? What, what's going on here? So this is divided into three sections. We have our loan information, which is a high level overview of your loan request. We have a workflow section, which may or may not be visible, just depending on the loan type that you're requesting. Uh, a, a lot of different factors may determine what you see and what you don't see here in the workflow. Uh, I'll go over real briefly, if you do see anything here in the workflow, what does it mean and how can that help you make better decisions and expedite us getting to closing? And then of course, we've got our required documents, which uh, I will show you uh, what that looks like in a different view. And, uh, and this all works together. It all links to the same area. So you'll be able to quickly make decisions and uh, upload information. And it's just a really fantastic uh, viewpoint right here with the required docs. So loan information. Right here, you can see real quick exactly what your uh, just general overview of the loan, which is really helpful, can help you uh, get in there and, uh, and, and, and know what the information is that, you, uh, that you've put in for the loan information. Right here is your loan program, whatever that loan program looks like. And then the primary status. So that's this up here. These are your primary statuses in the pipeline. So as it lets you know right here and file sub status. Many times as a file moves or as it is in a primary status, there are sub status updates that we provide to help give you guidance, help give you an idea of what is upcoming. What are we waiting on? Anything like that. So this is not a detailed uh, the substatus is not a detail, but it does help you dive into if there's an issue or a problem or if there's a reason your loan file is not moving forward, more than likely that issue will be named right here. We'll have the branch and all the other information as far as uh, what's going on right here. And then, of course, your property address. <clears throat> And then the closing date. So this helps you understand that the closing date is what you're expecting. Of course, if that is different, you can always reach out to us either through a note or send us an email. Uh, anything on the platform will definitely make the most sense because it's all tracked. So there's none of this, well, I didn't get your email and you didn't get our email and it got lost in, in whatever. By keeping things on the platform, there is an actual uh, paper trail, if you will, a digital paper trail of all communication. So. Uh, this is the loan information. The workflow uh, is our next uh, section. The workflow is great because it allows you to uh, see anything that's uh, specific to workflow of your loan application. So you can click on the drop down menu and you will see the workflow and, and what's being done on the workflow. And I'm going to show you real quick what that looks like. So <clears throat> I'm going to go into the back office here, which you will not see but we're gonna make some adjustments to the workflow status here in the, uh, in the uh, loan app. So uh, here we are, I'm going to, let's go ahead and we're gonna say the application status. Um, there we go, turn this on. And let's go ahead and say the application, uh, what's in full application, yes, uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that that is, um, let's say it's pending right now. So I'm gonna save this on the back office. Now watch this. Now, uh, it does update real time, but it doesn't update live. So you do have to refresh it. Uh, of course, uh, you're gonna be in and out of your portal, so it's gonna pop up sooner or later that, hey, uh, you know something's been refreshed or updated, and there you go, you can see it right here. Uh, it's been checked off. Uh, loan file is an application status, and then there's even a description of what happens during this uh, workflow step. So not all workflow steps are gonna be visible, and some loan programs won't even have any workflow steps for you. To be honest, the workflow steps are really for us in the company to help move your file along quickly, 
but in the case that we're working on a loan file for you that does have workflow steps visible for you, you literally can see exactly what is taking place in the back office. Again, this is all about transparency, very powerful. Um, and it gives you the comfort to know that, hey, the loan file is moving along in a timely manner. And the last section is the required doc section. Uh, this is your uh, color code key. So depending on the loan file or depending on the file, the documentation, you know, whatever it is right here, uh, that will be, you know, what's uh, what is available. Now, you can always upload a document uh, right here so you can upload documents as you get the loan file. Uh, so let's say you've got uh, this one. Now, some of these documents are not gonna be required, especially if you're a repeat borrower uh, and you've done more than one loan with this, which that would be the case because you obviously have access to the back office portal. If there's documentation that's requested based on the most you know, basic information on you or your entity, we're probably not gonna require that again. But for argument's sake, let's say that we're, we are requiring a uh, driver's license. So here you can name the, the document, you can pick it. So I'm just gonna pick a random photo on my desktop. So let's do this. So now we've uploaded that. Uh, it's not e-signable. And then you can even uh, say, hey, this is who I wanna notify. So you wanna let your loan officer, your broker know, hey, I've up updated that or I've uploaded that document. So you upload it. There we go. And then what's gonna happen is watch this. There we go, now we know it's orange, so that means it's in review. So I'm gonna come over here in the back office, I'm gonna refresh and then I'm gonna go in to that file, I'm gonna review it, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like when I review it, and then I say yes, that, uh, that, that document meets our standard, uh, the driver's license is clear, it's visible, <clears throat> uh, there is uh, nothing else that needs to be done, uh, this document is ready to go. So I've done that. This is what it looks like once that happens. So as you can see, the uh, the color code key is really helpful. It lets you know real quickly by looking at this, what needs to be done, what documents you need to be addressing and submitting. And again, don't get overwhelmed with all of this. Depending on the loan program, uh, especially if you're a repeat client, a lot of this information, especially on you or your entity, are not going to apply. Really, we're gonna be focused on the property and the project, especially if it's a fix and flip. Uh, that That's gonna be really where the, the bulk of the data is. But this is how powerful it is right here. So remember, anytime you upload a document, you can always select who you wanna notify. So you just simply click on your broker and there you go. You can let them know, hey, I've uploaded these documents and you can do it all from here, uh, as well as another a uh, way that you can access this, which we'll cover in a later minute. So this has been the snapshot view. Hope that this has been helpful. Hope that uh, this allows you the ability to uh, quickly review your loan files and then dive in and make corrections. Where we're gonna go next in our next couple of videos, we're gonna open the loan file and actually start working through the loan file. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Uh, we're not gonna take a lot of time, but I feel that it is important to let you know uh, how to navigate an open loan file and then what you need to do to make your closing happen as quickly and as smoothly as possible. <music>